Hey, so we're here at QSimrit in uh, outside of Bangkok, and both Janice Lin and Ashley Nichols are here. So we're going to do some interviews and start with Ashley. So, hello, Ashley. <laughs> um, can you just start by saying uh, why you're here at QSimrit? How long you've been here? Uh, I arrived last week at QSimrit. Uh, I was here a year before, and I stayed for about six six weeks. back every, every year to the gym here to train um, and uh, this year I'm here to compete on March 17th. There's, a, there's an event that's going on, um, WPM Championship, so I'm, I'm here to train and prepare for that and of course enjoy the training and uh, get sharp. There's no place other than Thailand to, to prepare yourself um, physically, mentally, uh, for for a Muay Thai match, so that's why I'm here. Um, and how did you uh, choose? Sorry, I'm going to make noise on that. Um, how did you choose uh, Kiss and Rip as your gym? <laughs> Can you just point it in one direction, maybe? Thank you. Uh, yes, in 2011, a friend of uh, our our gym back home, Mass, uh, Chris Q. He's also my husband. A friend of his told him about an awesome gym, a great training, and uh, yeah, since then we, we've been coming here every year. Um, is your husband here with you now? No, he's not here. No, he's do you travel home. separately a lot? Pardon? Do you travel separately yes, a lot? Yes, we travel separately quite a bit. Uh, he's back home uh, with you know the gym. There's, a, there's an amateur MMA event happening March 12th, so he's really working on that. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know I'm here to train and prepare for the fight March, 7th, March 17th. Um, what's the time between your last fight in the U.S. and your fight coming up in March? Like a month and a half or so? Uh, so the last fight I had was January 29th. Oh, okay. Uh, before that, it was a year that I spent out of the ring. Wow. And uh, January 29th to now is about You've been fighting a long time. When did you start fighting? 2008. January was my first and have you had mostly amateur fights? Um, I've had I've had a handful of amateur fights. Yeah, um, about fifty. That's more than a handful. Yeah. And then, <laughs> oh yeah, that's yeah, I mean, it's, it is. I, I meant to say I have a handful of pro fights. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, so right now my pro record is um, is about five to six wins and two or three losses. And so in Thailand, these are going to be pro fights mostly, or are you going to be in the um, well, IFMA is in Sweden this year, right? No, I won't be uh, going to IFMA. Uh, I'll be here. Okay. Yeah. And so you're planning on staying here for like six months to a year if you can? Uh, currently, I'm here for sure for two months. Okay. And uh, if the fights go well, uh, if the one March 17th goes well, and uh, I believe I have one scheduled in April, if that goes well, and you know, I did get a, an extension for my visa, so if I get a fight the following month after that, I'll extend the stay. And, Nice. Continue to compete. Um, in Canada, it's, it's uh, professional Muay Thai is illegal in Ontario. Mm -hmm. So coming here and getting experience and training, and competing while here is for me is the is the best way to get experience. Mm -hmm. um, do you know anything about Kwan Jai who you're fighting? Kwan Jai, I know she's pretty active and. Uh, I believe she's been to a few tournaments as well yeah. and competed and placed there, so she's going to be experiencing it. Have you seen any footage of her before or anything? Uh, the last footage I saw was her versus Teresa. Okay. And that was last, last year. Cool. Um, so can you just talk a little bit about your um, heritage being First Nation and representing First Nation with Muay Thai? So uh, I'm from Chippewas of the Thames. That's the uh, tribe that I that I come from. Mm -hmm. And uh, for me, the link the link between the two Muay Thai and First Nations. Um, when I first started Muay Thai, uh, I read about the traditions and how um, you know there's a spiritual aspect of it mm -hmm. with uh, you know giving respect to your teachers, giving respect to the ancestors, the lineage. Um, basically, in in First Nations culture, 
there's a, a big thing like that too, you know, is respecting your elders being, you know, respecting the environment. So I found like those two really um, made a connection for me. That's why I was able to really fall in love with Muay Thai is mm -hmm. the total spiritual side of it. Um, with First Nations culture, there's so many, you know, there's symbolism and um, just all of creation and respecting it. So mm -hmm. that's how I made the connection with Muay Thai and First Nations. Were and, you uh, raised in, in First Nation, Nation culture? In the U.S. we have kind of like deposits. It's, there's, it's very um, they're spread called out. reservations. Yeah. yeah, they're called reservations. We also have them in Canada. Mm -hmm. um, I've lived half and half like in the cities and on the reserve. Mm -hmm. So I've experienced um, living on reserve firsthand. Uh, you know, some of the challenges that come with it. Um, there's not a lot of resources that are at your at your hands, so you, you have to travel, you have to, you have to leave the reserve in order to uh, get experience outside. Um, for us, uh, a big thing is, you know, leaving, getting experience, and coming back to share that with the community so mm -hmm. that we can, you know, um, make, make everyone stronger and more educated and, and um, make everything, you know, better. So that's where that's where I made the connection with Muay Thai and the, the traditional culture of First Nations. Have you seen any um, gyms or training on reservations for First Nation people? Yes, there are. Yeah, there that's are. very cool. Uh, there's there's a few gyms that are uh, that are operating on reserve, which is great. You know, it gives the it gives the youth some place to uh, some place to go. You know, after after their school is done and. Uh, you know, like a recreational activity, keeps you busy, helps you set short-term, long-term goals through the training. Uh, a lot of it for me was um, fitness. It was a huge thing, you know, getting in shape, setting short-term and long-term goals in the training, um, you know, feeling good mm -hmm. about yourself. Fitness always makes you feel good, so yeah. Uh, combat sports in general is, is a pretty active sport. So. Very cool.